Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com. In this video we have a new build of Windows 10 to look at. This is 16226 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. And I have to say I've had enormous problems getting this build installed. Uh, I finally got it installed by doing a clean installation and then um, from the creators update and then doing the update. Um, and I did a PC reset, I did the troubleshooting, did all that kind of stuff and none of it would work. It would just come up with various error messages usually saying updates been cancelled sometimes it would install and then uh, reboot but just go back into Windows there are a number of uh, troubleshooting posts on uh, the Windows Insider forums but none of the stuff will work for me anyway I'm here now so what's new in this well there's a, quite a few things actually I'm only going to show the highlights because of, uh, I just want to quickly run through those on here so EPUB book uh, f format has been improved as improved support So you can now um, do Ask Cortana in EPUB books like you can in um, in Edge. So you can tap on something there, select it and do Ask Cortana, which is quite good. You can also do ink notes as well. Um, so you can add ink notes. You can also add ink notes as well to, um, to this slide. And I'm going to add this manually but uh, you get the idea. So you can add notes to the to the sections in the EPUB file. Now in Edge itself, there's a few improvements on that. It's now easier to close tabs, even if there's a JavaScript pop-up box or something like that, you can still close a tab. And the favorites button has also been improved on the favorites dialog, favorites dialog box has now got this uh, in there, the saving, and you can also edit favorites now as well. So if you go into there, you can do edit URLs. They've also made it easier to bring in cookies and settings from Chrome. You can actually migrate them straight in there. So if you want to go from Chrome into Edge, you can do that now. There's a new dialog box showing you what happens when you download something from an app and it requests something from a, a, a placeholder file from OneDrive. So you see that that pop up then. That's gone now. Um, so that shows you that an app has requested a cloud-based file that is downloaded. Something else that's new is the on-screen keyboard, and especially the little swipe keyboard, now works in multiple languages. So you can do, this is a test, and that now works in whatever language you're in, which is good to see. There's multiple languages um, for that. They've improved the pen input panel as well. And pen scrolling now works in Win32 apps. There's some gaming updates, but one thing I did like to see, let's just flick out of tablet mode. Here in Task Manager, you've now got GPU support showing you, showing you what GPU has been used, which I think is a very nice improvement. Storage Sense has had an update uh, for the UI, and uh, there's some imp improvements on that, show a new look and feel to that. And remote desktop can now be set up in uh, the settings without having to go into the old uh, control panel. So that's that's there now. So that's good to see. Oh, there was something else I wanted to show you. The new, the new share icon or the new share option. There. Let's put that <laughs> there. And calculator has now got conversion features, so it can do money, uh, temperatures, all that kind of thing. Let's show you. There you go. Money, temperature, area, speed. Uh, quite a few usable changes in there. So there's a number of other changes as well, but more of those on the digitallifestyle.com. So if you do have a problem getting this build installed, it could be due to the .NET Framework 3.5, but there's a, a, a big post on the Windows Insider forums where you can take a look at that. So that's my very quick look at that. I've skipped over some of them, but those are the highlights, and uh, you can go back on our YouTube channel and have a look at all the way back to the very first build of Windows 10. Hopefully the next build will be easier to get up and running.